could be dads, rappers, crack, and splack, right? Nobody's gonna publish this. Just wanna rub their nose, isn't it? We love it. What? what? It is very, uh... Black? Yes, that's it. I'm happy you said it and not me. <laughs> hey, what's going on, movie fans? Today I'm gonna be reviewing the new comedy, American Fiction. I wasn't planning on reviewing this movie. It's a movie that I did want to see, but I didn't actually plan on enjoying as much as I did. But after seeing it, I was like, I have to review this movie. What I enjoyed about this movie was the raw humor. It knew what it was and it went with it and it just wanted to go full steam ahead on that cliche that it tells. Now the film is about identity politics. He writes a book but no one wants to publish it and it's a really serious piece. So what he does is he gets irritated about it so he writes a different book that's really cliche. He's being really sarcastic as he's writing it and he's like, mm, man, I'm gonna write about a story about this guy that kills his father and then goes and joins a gang and he does it out of sarcasm it backfires on him and they're like we love it we want to give you a million dollars for this can you write another one no i'm not selling this this is a joke i did this to prove a point the point gets blown up in his face because they offer him so much money his boss is like you're gonna take that money and you're gonna act like this guy so he has to pretend to be this generic black guy this gangster who came out of prison when he gets on the phone with the publishers he's gonna be like you think a college boy could write that? And I was laughing because we always portray black people as these thugs and gangsters and there's always rap music in every movie that has a leading black person in it. He then 21 Bridges with Chadwick Boseman. That movie's about him being a detective looking into the murder of two cops and in the trailers, they have rap music playing. They also made fun of you know, white people. There was even a really boy gay person in the movie where he'd answer the phone. He'd be like, oh yeah, we'd like to pick up your book. And the way they handled it was hilarious. I just loved that the movie knew what it was and it was just going with it. And I think any of you should check this out too. Even the end part is like the most generic thing you see in these type of movies. And I was just bursting up laughing. I thought the performances were charming. I thought the casting was perfect because everyone played their roles really good. And they had that energy and that delivery. And it was, it was really fun to watch. Some complaints I have, Jeffrey Wright's mom has a very big part in this movie. And I felt like it just dragged out the runtime. They should have cut it down because it does take up a lot of time and it does slow down the pacing and the fun of the film. I didn't really think it was needed. Also, another thing is, is the trailer made the movie look really comedic, but it's not. It actually is much more serious than I expected, so I was a little taken aback by that. It makes fun of everyone universally, and I think it tells a good message that we should stop making these really cliche movies. I really hope they make another movie like this. I was laughing way more than I was expecting because it is funny. It's, it's real. It's telling us something in a funny way. Hey, let's stop doing this to each other. Jeffrey Wright does meet a girl and he's kind of an ass to her because he's stressed out about the book. He comes to this revelation that he's not the nicest person in the world. And his brother tells him this, and then this girl tells him that, and that the way he was writing is part of his character. And this is kind of why he was able to write something so generic. He has this bitterness in him that he's able to put on the pages. And that the way his aggressive writing was and writing that generic book does come from his inner soul a little bit. And then it helped him grow as a person. And Jeffrey Wright did great. I love this guy. I'm going to be watching his movies for a very long time. I do plan on watching this movie again. I enjoyed it very much and I think you would too. And if you've seen the trailer and it just looks very uninteresting to you, you should give it a chance. It is much more enjoyable than you would think. I would recommend this movie. I'm going to grade American fiction a B-. minus. I would have given this movie a higher grade had the ending been a little better. It's something else I didn't mention before my grade is the ending feels incomplete as if they ran out of money or they didn't know how to end this film. It just abruptly ends. I thought it was just a poor way to send it off and you're kind of thinking it's a joke because the movie's been making fun of itself but the movie does just end on a, like a weird note and is done. The credits start and I think that's going to hurt the film in some degree. Well that's it for my American Fiction review guys. I am currently working on more reviews as I speak right now. Until then please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can be subscribed and notified when those reviews drop. It really helps out with my channel when you subscribe and I'll appreciate it very much. And I'll catch you movie fans on my next review.